What is going on, guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, first off, I do want to apologize for you know so much of a delay between the, my recent videos, and that's because I just got married. There it is, my wedding band. But I uh, just got married and just got back from the honeymoon, and today I'm going to show you some footage that I took actually before I left for my honeymoon. It was the first time I collected my uh, vending rack. I remember I told you guys that I placed my first vending rack. So I'm going to go out and uh, show you the footage of me collecting it and show you how much I made from it. I gave you an overview of what I made all of last month, uh, including the rack. But uh, the rack alone is mostly what this video is going to be about. Me telling you how much that made as well as kind of showing you what new product I am buying to put in it. Because uh, this is my first uh, machine with toys and everything in it. One last thing I want to say before we go and see how much this vending rack made the first three weeks it was on location. As well as kind of what kind of uh, toys and whatnot I'm putting in it. Because I did recently receive a shipment from a and Global. Um, I'll give you all the information on that in just a minute. On what kind of toys I'm putting in it and everything like that. But... I just want to say thank you all so much for all of the support. Uh, we are at like 950 subscribers, just under that 1K mark. I can't wait to hit it. Uh, just really excited and just really amazed about how much support you guys have been giving me. It has been really, really amazing. I just I can't share my appreciation enough. Uh, but to try once I do hit that 1k mark I am going to be giving away a single head gumball machine for you all so that hopefully if you are not yet in the business this is a zero cost way to get into the business with a free single head gumball machine or if you're already in the business then there is one extra single head gumball machine out there making money for you guys so definitely stay tuned uh, keep an eye out for uh, future videos because I'm going to be making a video as soon as I hit that 1k mark on how you can be eligible to win that single head gumball machine. So stay tuned and let's get right into the rest of the video. Alright, so here I am at the trampoline park that is currently at this point now my best location uh, before I added the rack in. It was a pretty close second, uh, but after adding the rack, it became my absolute best location by far. Uh, you can see here I have one of the four-way machines. It is a event design. Uh, switch out the coin bank. I actually have uh, two of these machines at this location. They're fairly close together, but both of them uh, do pretty well. Um, you can see I have Reese's Pieces. I have... or sorry Reese's Pieces I say that all the time not sure why but milk chocolate M&Ms as well and then in just a second I'll go ahead and pull up the peanut M&Ms peanut M&Ms are just a fantastic seller definitely sell a ton of the peanut M&Ms very popular candy there uh, and then as well as the chewy spree uh, go ahead and fill up the peanut M&Ms real quick. Those definitely need a good amount because they do sell so, so well that I'm very happy about. Also got to fill up the regular M&Ms. Also a pretty good seller, but not quite as good as the peanut M&Ms. Uh, and then also the Reese's Pieces do not too bad, uh, but definitely not one of my best sellers, uh, but it's does good enough for sure. Um, the Chewy Spree actually do pretty well also, but I didn't have any more left, and I just ordered some from a, &A Global. You actually see uh, the box I ordered at the end of the video, how many Chewy Spree I now have. Definitely all good to go and have a ton of supply, but go ahead and close this machine up. And uh, between the two four-way candy machines, there was uh, $96 in it, and that is after commission. I do give them a percentage of what my machine makes, 
and now what we're all here for, we have the vending rack. So this first uh, container is gumballs for 25 cents, and as you can see, it is completely empty. So kind of a, a bittersweet thing there. Uh, very happy that it sold that many, but also definitely missed out on some because I didn't go, it didn't fill it up enough because I ran out of gumballs when I was filling this up. So go ahead and see how well the gumballs did. Pull that off. Go ahead and pull off the other part. And wow, just amazing. So many quarters in there. Very happy about that. So next we go to the fun rings. Uh, now the fun rings, I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, but going back, it looked like it was halfway empty, uh, and when I placed the rack here originally, it was completely full all the way to the top. Go ahead and pull that off so you can see that it is probably about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway full still. But pull that out, and you can see that it, this one actually did pretty well also. Uh, definitely not as good as the gumballs, but very happy with the results nonetheless. And then last up for the bottom row is going to be the bouncy balls. Uh, now, all three of the selections on the bottom I sell for a quarter, but I will be likely upgrading the bouncy balls and the rings into a 50 cent coin mechanisms. So, something that I will hope increase my revenue and profits. So, go and see how well that did. And... Definitely not bad at all. Very happy with that for sure. Now last, well sorry, not last, but closer to the second from last is the Jumbo Erasers. Uh, now one thing I do want to mention is that all of the product in here except for the gumballs came with the machine when I bought it. So everything in here is strictly towards profit. So very cool. Uh, and this was pretty full, was over half full when I uh, placed it, and they definitely sold a good amount, as you can see here. Uh, now, these are set at 50 cents, but we'll probably upgrade that to 75 cents with a different product. Now, this last one is the laser rings. Now, they did say that they had to refund six of them uh, because the lights were not working on the laser rings, so next time I go out, uh, I definitely am going to switch those out for something different. Almost dropped a piece there, but pretty happy with that. Took out, ended up taking out like four bucks, but that's what the rack made altogether: a hundred and seventy-six dollars and fifty cents, and a hundred and fifty dollars after commission. So very happy with the rack. Now, as you can see here, I am opening up a couple of boxes. Uh, like I said, I did get a order from a a Global, and this is what I'm going to be putting in the rack from now on. We have, well, I guess these ones won't be going in the rack, but I ran out of Chewy Spree, and I couldn't find any other cost-effective way to get them, so I ordered them online. I got an 80-pound thing. Uh, don't sell. They're not one of my best sellers, but buying in bulk definitely put my cost of goods sold low enough to make a good profit on them whereas if I were to buy them from Walmart uh, I would have to buy much smaller containers and it would probably be break even at best after commission now go ahead and open this bigger box and show you what other stuff I got to put in this rack here uh, now I also bought blister packs is what they're called uh, this is for the fun rings. I'm going to be replacing those. Uh, and that's the bag of rings. I think it's like 250, I believe. So, cool stuff there. Uh, there's the blister pack for the sticky hands and the yo yo balls. The sticky hands I'll be selling at 50 cents and the yo yo balls at 75 cents. Uh, and then we also got the uh, bouncy balls there, of course. Now, I probably will be upgrading the uh, two top ones to dollar coin max and two of the bottom ones except for the gumballs to 50 cents coin max to give myself a little bit better of a profit margin and here we have one of the yo-yo balls i pull it out and kind of fling it around a little bit just to kind of show you guys what it is but i think these are a pretty cool toy uh for sure 
definitely think these will sell pretty well. Well, at least I hope so. I'll go ahead and put it back in there. You can see got 250 of these. They're the two inch toy capsules. So should be some awesome sales going on with those. Now go ahead and open up the next box here, which is the yo, -yo uh, sorry, not the yo-yo balls, the sticky hands. So these are the little things that you put around your finger or you hold and you can flick it up against a window and it will stick. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. It means so, so much so we can hit that 1K subscriber mark. And then I will catch you all in the next one.